Hey guys, uh, time for another Hopper Hot Take tonight. Uh, just got finished listening to uh, AT Talk Talks. Sorry, um, talking about the difference between athletic health care and an athletic coverage, right? So we want to talk about um, you know health care, and that's somewhere we need to be headed. You know, and again, we talk thirty five percent of high schools in America have a full time athletic trainer. It's hard to provide adequate health care in that manner, right? Uh, 35% having one full-time person or more. Uh, we don't know what the more looks like. Obviously, you know, how many high schools have two? How many high schools have three? Whatever uh, that breakdown would look like would be uh, interesting to see. Um, but then you've got another 31% uh, who have some sort of part-time something or other. You want to talk about coverage? There you go. But... Um, and there's a lot that goes on in, in athletic health care and athletic uh, coverage. What does that look like? What does, uh, what does each of those mean, right? And so, you know, understanding that athletic care um, provides a level of care that you're not just there, but you're there providing individual one-on-one -on -one care. You're, you're there able to work with the patient to make them better because that's our jobs, Right. Athletic coverage is about being there in case something happens. I'm waiting for that injury to occur. When it occurs, I deal with it, right? So um, major, major differences between the two. Um, but let's also look at athletic health care in the bigger picture. Athletic health care is not just about what happens on the court, what happens on the field, what happens in the athletic training room. But let's look at the big picture. Athletic health care also means having an understanding of what care is going to be provided to your kids throughout the entire process. We've talked before about athletic trainers being there before an injury occurs, being there when the injury occurs, being there after an injury occurs. Athletic trainers are great at working through the process. Uh, just last week, I had three girls uh, headed down to see our orthopedic surgeon. Um, Wednesday afternoon, I, I happened to have the time to be able to go and visit the doctor's office with them, be in the exam room, with the with the uh, athlete and her parent, right uh, on each of these um, different cases, and actually communicate directly with the physician, directly with the parent, directly with the athlete in the same exam room, so that we have a, a better understanding of where to go from here. Okay, that's athletic healthcare. All right, now I understand not everybody has that time, and I get that. Um, we don't normally have that time either, but I like to be able to do that when I can. But it's also about knowing that when I send my kid to the athlete, to the orthopedic surgeon, sorry, uh, when I send them to the orthopedic surgeon, what's that care going to look like? They're going to get x-rays. Do they have the ability to do MRI right there? You know, is he or she a good surgeon, a good physician, right? What's the billing process is looking like? I'm not expecting you to be a billing expert because I certainly aren't. I, I certainly am not. However, I know what our insurance looks like from a school perspective. I also know that the clinic has somebody to deal with those. And she understands what our insurance looks like too, okay? Um, athletic health care is about having the resources to put your kid in the right situation. So many of our kids coming in as freshmen, they don't know what to do when they get hurt, right? Uh, because when they were in 8th grade, when they were in 7th grade, when they were playing DPL sports, in our particular case, you know, when they were playing middle school sports, they got hurt, they went to urgent care. They went to the ER. They went to their pediatrician. We bypass all of that in 95% of the cases. We can send directly to the orthopedic surgeon. We can send directly to the concussion specialist. Right? Helping our parents and our kids understand the process, getting them through the process, that's athletic health care. All right, kid has surgery, kid has a major injury, needs to go to physical therapy. We have the resources to put them in a physical therapy clinic with PTs that we are able to work with. One of the most important things I talk about in athletic training is relationships. And I've had this conversation with some of our patients and some of our parents. You know, there are, I'm here in Dallas, right? There's literally hundreds of orthopedic surgeons here in Dallas. I'm sure they're all great surgeons. I don't have relationships with 100 orthopedic surgeons, right? I don't have relationships with the hundreds or thousands of physical therapists here in the DFW. 
but I have relationships with our orthopedic surgeon. I have a relationship with our concussion specialist. I have a relationship with our physical therapist that we work with. And what we're able to do is we are able to communicate through that process. We're able to touch base with those people maybe after hours, right? Um, because we know that athletic healthcare is not a nine to five job, okay? We know that injuries occur at night. We know that things happen and sometimes we need an answer. And fortunately with the relationships that we have, we're able to sometimes get those answers at seven, eight, nine o'clock at night, right? We're able to send a quick text message. Hey, what do you think about this? What do you want to do about this? What can we do with this particular individual? Again, goes back to our relationship with school nurse. Okay, again, athletic healthcare is more than about what we do on the floor. It's more than about the athletic trainer. Athletic healthcare is able to provide full services to our athletes, not just coverage. Not just, hey, I'm here, I'm gonna send you off to the doctor, I'm gonna send you over to physical therapy and be done with you. It's about being there for the entire process from step one to step two to step three and throughout the entire time. It's there before the injury, it's there when the injury occurs, it's, it's there after the injury occurs and walking our athletes through the process. That's athletic healthcare. Once again, every athlete deserves an athletic trainer. You guys have a great night. This is uh, tonight's Hopper Hot Take uh, as we wrap up the month of January. Have a good one.